welcome to all of you on my productive and skill oriented platform so now the replication process is completed and we have a clone vm on our azure asr infrastructure and you can verify this clone vm from here now you can see that previously uh, the status was a replication health related to the applica uh, replication health now it's a completely healthy vm showing over uh, asr infrastructure and here you can see now it's protected which means that now if uh, if uh, if a kind of a situation where uh, where your host went down or your uh, your host machine got crashed or due to any physical error your machine went down so uh, this machine is protected and healthy and you can run this machine from here as well so when i click on the health status from here so here you can see that uh, 13 seconds ago this machine is replicated with uh, our on premise infrastructure and if you want to check with the latest recovery points so click on it and here you can see it will show all the time variables on behalf of which this machine is replicated with asr infrastructure so here you can see by default we selected the 5 minutes time it means that 300 seconds so uh, this this time duration can be verified from here as well so after every 5 minutes if any kind of change occur so this uh, this uh, change will be uh, replicated with uh, uh, asr vm as well and if uh, if no changes occur uh, inside the uh, on premise uh, data center vm so it will just check the connectivity status or heartbeat status and all things will remain same because every time if this this vm um, uh, got synced so it will definitely require a high bandwidth amount so for the first time when you start the replication the whole machine is replicated but after the completion of the first complete uh, replication then uh, the, the the minor changes or the major changes will be replicated to asr vm and if if uh, any change did not occur uh, on on the on premise in infrastructure so all things will remain same and here if we can verify further all the connectivity options now here you can see hyper v virtual machines the claxton site is completely connected with the azure site recovery and storage account so here is my on premise infrastructure and here is my asr infrastructure where all uh, my vm is uh, replicated and synced in a proper manner so now verify from the host side so when i click on the host machine here i have my hyper per we host node 1 um, machine so when i click on the replication health so here you can see i can pause the replication or if i can view the replication health it will show that all things are going well now here you can see the replication health is normal current replication server microsoft azure which means that now we have a, a secondary data center or we have a secondary site uh, which is microsoft azure or a cloud platform and here you can see now the size of the data yet to be replicated is 16 mb so it's showing the successful replication cycles four out of four went uh, complete uh, completely successfully and here you can see maximum size is 127 gb so it means that uh, all kinds of implementation which we done on the asr side or which we done on the on premise uh, infrastructure uh, all went well because due to all uh, uh, these implementations now our vm is replicating to microsoft asr infrastructure so in the coming episode we are going to down this uh, vm uh, on on our on premise infrastructure and start uh, Uh, running uh, this vm which is replicated on microsoft asr infrastructure so we will see that the same components the same applications the same configurations will be up and running smoothly on microsoft azure infrastructure so we will verify this uh, virtual machine replication uh, in the coming episode so let's uh, let's move with the next episode